Hello, everybody. Welcome to Church Mouse Chronicles. Church Mouse Chronicles Hands. Um, it is the evening of Monday, the 21st, the September of 21st. The... And we have been trying to set up uh, this recording equipment since Saturday. <laughs> Today's episode is going to be about a topic that permeates, wink, wink, the world of men. And magic. And the occult. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time management. And we start, started this episode by successfully managing the first 15 minutes of our uh, time together here uh, to set everything up because that's how time management works uh by the way setting uh, setting up this equipment reminded me of that uh, donald duck episode when he's trying to set up a beach chair <laughs> 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 like for every step you make you go to backwards like uh, i don't know i, I set up the microphone I can't believe you remember that. Of course, I, uh, I would, especially in this situation. Uh, I set up the microphone, the camera stops working. I said, uh, I managed to make uh, the camera work, there's microphony. Uh, I make the microphony stops, but the headphones don't work on the laptop. So I switch the microphone to the laptop and headphones to the smartphone. And again, it does not work. And it was so tedious. So thankfully and God willing, I think this setup will work remotely okay, even though the sound quality isn't as good as I originally intended, but uh, <laughs> we do our best with what little we have, so. Yes. Um, also, I need to, I guess, put it out there that this was the first time ever that we sent a meeting link in time one yeah. exactly one minute before the time that we agreed upon um for recording of course then he ate the, the, the following 15 or, or 17 or whatnot minutes uh to you know set up the equipment but credits where you know credit where credit is due uh, mm -hmm. really i congratulate you because you took you took the first step you know and i also want to thank m for not uh, excusing himself with the kids uh, for the first time ever. Why? 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 I'm not excusing myself with the kids. No, no, not at all. No parent does that ever. No, I don't do that. Anyway, for not. successful time management, you need proper tools. The first tool is this. The second tool is this. Or if you're Catholic, the big one. Yeah. <laughs> Also this, the screaming mug, which you put like this, and then you scream <laughs> because you're a failure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So no, no, these are not the, the right tools for time. And the right tools for time management is the screaming, really the screaming uh, cup. And you know that little ball of whatever that you, you can just squeeze. Because, because, you know, when you fail at time management, which is every day, 24 seven, you squeeze that ball. Sometimes it can be like um, like a toy, like a figure, figurine, figurine, right? Or like a voodoo one. doll of your favorite politician. No, we said we we said we're not gonna deal with your cult. We we'll leave oh, yeah. that for the movie reviews uh, channel. <laughs> no, or was it? Yeah. Um, or cult movie review channel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or real, just just you know. <laughs> <laughs> um. I really, I really think um, you manage your time quite well, considering the, the amount of work you put um, in your own on your own plate, uh, or yeah. in your own plate. It's actually a deep plate, so it, it's going to be in your own plate. But the real tools for time management, as we said, are whatever you can do to deal with the stress, because there is going to be a lot of stress uh, involved. Um, because time is the only resource that is absolutely limited and the most important and the most precious resource that we all waste uh, lavishly. 
until the resurrection. Yeah, and then, you know, then it likely, I, I don't know, I don't know if time is going to be like like it is now. Or gonna just I, doubt, I doubt it will. Lose time as a concept at all, I don't, I don't know. Um, I mean, I don't know how it would work, but I, uh, I definitely think that it will be transfigured in some way. Je ne sais I know. Pas. Je ne sais pas. But anyways, B, how do you manage your time? <laughs> the first okay. weapon is this. The second weapon. Oh, <laughs> uh, if only, if only. I have two basic principles when it comes to time management. The first one is sleep does not matter. The second one is fitness and physical activity gets the lowest tire priority. <laughs> Both of these principles are horrible. And I highly suggest you ditch them. This is, <laughs> but, but once, uh, because I actually, um, I actually apply them. I do have time to make the content that I do. <laughs> and his eyes blink <laughs> out of tune. <laughs> okay, so so as many peop other people I know, <clears throat> um, you have, you need more time, okay, right? You, you, need a, does. you need a day to last longer so you can do everything that you're set out to do, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're when you're a creative person doing doing the con the kind of content you do, um, how much how much of extra time do you think you need? Is it two hours? Is it four? Is it five? Mm, Why not uh, twenty five? I, I think that three hours extra per day would be ideal. Okay, so all you have to do is figure out a way to sleep three hours less. I mean, it's doable. I mean, it's going to run you down in like a year, but uh, it's doable. Maybe even in, 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 in less. You know, but uh, I think I will get uh, so depressed and lethargic and everything and uh, lose so much hair that uh, uh, I may even lose some weight. Yay. And, yeah. and then you die like in like seven or eight months. But, but it, I know, die a thin man. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> you, 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 you check this checkbox, so you're good. <laughs> I fulfilled one New Year's resolution. <laughs> yeah, by the way, it's it's time it's time for new ones, um, and I'm 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 already working on it. Well, I gotta say, dear B, I manage my time decently. Uh, otherwise, mm -hmm. I would I would just burst, explode, mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, disintegrate in every single way. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, to be 100% honest with you, there is no trick. There is no blueprint. Mm -hmm. There is no sauce, secret or, yes. or, or not, um, that you can use. Um, there are many methods and techniques, mm -hmm. methodologies you can subscribe to, whatnot. Um, but it's, it's their goal not to teach you how to do it, but rather how to just like uh, start. Mm -hmm. you know start things start thinking about some 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 things and um honestly i'm i'm kind of a result oriented uh person in terms of organization mm -hmm. right i um for example i'm i'm a i'm a absolute enemy to all these new software um services out there that like measure people's time spent on different tasks uh, or like record snapshots of their screens and whatnot this is now this is now oh like that uh, those honesty programs and so on honesty uh, well do you mean those uh, programs that uh, you know measure how much people work during their working hours and then report it yeah. to their boss yeah yeah you know like like one of the biggest freelancing platforms upwork like yeah. you you have the option of upwork just living on their computer and like doing snapshots of what they're doing so that you know when they're when you, when they're charging the client you know the, the client can verify that they they've been actually working on like i can only imagine how much porn these clients saw um <laughs> Well, not even porn, but like video no. games or YouTube videos. 
<laughs> yeah, look, I'm, I'm kidding. Like, if you know you're being recorded, you're going to do different things. But this is the worst thing ever. Like, I, uh, I, I, I burned this. Uh, this every kind of... time I worked on Upwork, I would use flat rate every time because it would, you know, let me work relatively at my pace and not have someone hanging over my head. Someone hanging over my head is is precisely not the reason why I did freelancing. <laughs> yeah, but there's also, you know, different things you can do. And when we're talking about creative output, mm -hmm. you, what are you going to do? Re -re Record B while he's drawing something? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I do it on my hands channel <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, you, you don't. You stop. Well, anymore. But I, 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 I plan. It's disappointing. I, it's disappointing to me. I plan to do it again. Don't worry. I miss those hands, man. Um, yeah, fl flaunt, flaunt them from time to time so that, you know, you know. <laughs> uh, but anyways, what, what, I, what I'm trying to say is when you're results oriented, time management actually kind of, things kind of range on their own, right? Mm -hmm. Because, because you, you're, not, you're not managing time, you're managing mm -hmm. results and you're prioritizing what needs to be done first. Mm -hmm. And that as a consequence, molds your time of course not everybody yeah. can do it because not everybody has like working hours that i have which is whenever um and there are many like uh organizations that are completely not result oriented but rather you know how many man hours does it take to perform this task i estimate five Ten days later, you know, <laughs> the same freaking task. And everybody's like, the original estimate was five. Yeah, but then, you know, okay, we need to record their screen. I think I think they're watching porn, you know, instead of working. So that, that's about... They never said which hours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, the point is, the point is, I think you should be result-oriented because mm -hmm. then time management is just like a, like a thing you don't really think about. I remember a, a colleague of mine, uh, you actually know him, uh, he was like, uh, when we are trying to like find a, a time, you know, to like uh, do, do a workshop or something and like I'm screen sharing and I open up my calendar. He's like, oh, life goals, you know, like commenting on how I'm like organized in my calendar, yeah. right? But I actually stopped doing this like before I used to like map out parts of the day and try to like program them into and, and make myself do certain things in certain time. Yeah. That doesn't work. I even used emoji, you know, like I, I can tell you this much every day I would skip the prayer part. <laughs> like, that, that would be the first to go. It's like, Prayer, I, I used to have a candle emoji. I'm going to find this because I want to show you later. I, I still have that. You have, right? And, On and then Habitica. Yeah, and that's like, uh, oh, Habitica. Yeah, that's like the um, uh, gamification uh, yeah. to-do thing. Uh, I used to have like, you know, time for lunch. And then there, that was like yeah. a steak or like, a, I don't know, a piece of chicken or something. And then, you know, coffee time. We have a coffee. And it was all like, it looked brilliant when you look at the calendar, but it didn't and work then. like at all. Like not a single day I would fulfill, you know, nothing. It would just wouldn't work. Uh, so, you know what my issue was that with that? Uh -huh. What? what? Uh, okay. Like I can guarantee that you, for example, never skipped coffee break. You know, you would always stick it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had morning prayers in my to-do list, and I still do. But do you know how that goes? Okay, this is prayer. Our Father, help be the name of the will be done. Amen. Check. And like... You know... Do it while you're doing something else, like... You know, two, two birds in one in one go. And it's like... That's even worse. That's even worse. Like, with Our Father, help be the name at least I'm doing that thing. But if I'm like, oh, well, I might as well take this paper, uh, take these papers to my boss and I'm like, you know, Lord along the way. And personally, I'm all for sanctifying my walk to the boss. <laughs> but, I, but if I use that time to tick off my me time with God, then that's an issue. 
<laughs> Look, I got to tell you this. Like, I've been told and I've read that we should kind of be in constant prayer. Yeah. It, it, it is what it is. So I'm, I'm trying, you know, when I'm doing repetitive tasks or something, I'm going to try it and I'm going to do yeah. it. Like if I'm walking, I'm going to walk and, and I'm going to use the rhythm of the walk to just repeat a prayer. Yeah. Um, so, so that part in terms of like doing prayer while you're doing other things, I think that's perfectly fine. Yeah. But, but not that prayer, you know, not, not, not the one where you should like, you know, like the, the church fathers, when you read the church fathers about the morning prayer, uh, they all, they're all unanimous in terms of that it should be the first thing you do when you, yeah. when you get up, because at that point, you still haven't entered the chaos that is life. And, you know, you're not distracted by a whole lot of things. The brain is not pumping blood and being like, you know, the hamster is like running, uh, you know, um, hundred yeah. miles, miles, miles per hour. Hundred miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that sounds like an American measurement. Coffee, <laughs> coffee and spur White House. <laughs> yeah. 15 breads. Um, so, so th that's actually my problem. Like my latest achievement in, in, in that sense is that I wake up and, and say, you know, thank you, Lord, for, you know, giving us light or light or something like that, you know? Yeah. And that's about it in terms of, you know, my immediate prayer. Mm -hmm. um, so whenever I try to program the time for it, it doesn't work. Uh, and uh, I, I kind of quit. I kind of quit on that particular um, way of doing things. And, and my new way, and honestly, it's working. Mm -hmm. It has been working for almost the entirety of this year, which, which was one of the most challenging years uh, I've ever been a part of. And uh, have you ever been a part of? That sounds like, well, okay. like it was a project or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a way, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, somebody's project yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> like uh, some dark cabal <laughs> yeah yeah again with your cult well, leave it wait, wait 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 cabals don't, don't have to be a cult really no it i mean be, what is it scientific no no i mean they can be a cult in the meaning of the occult as something hidden so like clandestine so lol lol etymologies we mean where we say a cult Okay, I don't mean them like chanting over a pentagram, but they wouldn't be too much surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the newest approach, newest approach is I, I look at things on a weekly basis and I'm basically just managing things that need to be done. I'm not managing when I'm going to do them. The only mm -hmm. thing that matters is they, they need to be, you know, it needs to be done. Yeah. Um, and that actually works because... Um, it, it helps me compartmentalize things mm -hmm. and work on things that are of the similar, uh, there's, you know, there's things that are, that are similar in nature or within the same domain. And then you, yeah. when you can, when you can come do, do it like that, then you can, mm. you know, perform much better because you're not yeah, yeah. losing time to switch context. And yeah. uh, that's the most, most important thing in my personal opinion, when we're talking about time management, you need to be, in the flow mm -hmm. to finish something you need to be determined yeah. and you need to focus and when you focus mm -hmm. you're going to finish it in in the best possible time with the best possible outcome and True. then you focus on something else um not everybody can do it because a lot of people are just plain lazy mm -hmm. um i also count myself in that in that people simply because i tend to just just go ahead and lose time mm -hmm. just waste it completely mm -hmm. Like I tend yeah. to like sometimes just spend more than an hour just scrolling through YouTube or something. I don't use it. Oh, if, if it were only a dedicated hour a day, you know, uh, it just occurred to me that if I actually dedicated an hour or two per day of relaxation yeah, uh, and not let it consume me, I think that in general, it would do me a lot of good. And we're hooked. You know, it's too late. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's not too late, but it's well, hard. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was some Catholic saint who said, well, if I started earlier, 
I would have much less work to do. But now the forest has grown and they need to do a lot of chopping. <laughs> and uh, that's a beautiful image. Like, oh man, uh, if I did this the right way, but then again, it takes so much practice, so much time. So thank you. You know, with this conversation, I already, you know, got something out of it. You know, it's yeah, not like- Yeah, to be honest with you, I did as well because I just, I just like read for the millionth time you should lay off the phone before you go to sleep, which I never do. Like I, I always fall asleep consuming some sort of content, right? Watching a show, watching a movie, reading something um, online, watching a YouTube, listening to a podcast. Like this is my default for, for, for getting myself to sleep. What is yours? Okay, uh, quite recently I have installed some meditation app. Uh, now I don't oh. do meditation. I don't do meditation, just to, get, oh, to be clear. I, I, was, I was just writing, writing to a newspaper, you know, that, that, I'm, yeah. that I'm, we're no longer friends, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, but again, uh, there are multiple ways you can define meditation. So in a way you can say that I'm doing it. I'm not doing it in well, a- Well, technically it's not a cult, you know, it's not a cult. Actually, uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, okay, so I downloaded that app. So I set my hour at every 10, uh, at every, uh, that uh, at 10, p uh, 10 p.m. It starts to play this relaxing music. That's the meditation part. Okay. That is my cue to open my window of my room, you know, to let some, let some fresh air in. I don't oh, do that. Fresh air. <laughs> I don't do that because, you know, Belgrade's pollution problem, well, Serbia's pollution problem. Uh, for 15 minutes, uh, th then I quickly clean up my room because the, uh, the more orderly my room is, the easier I will sleep and uh, better I will wake up. This is tired and true for me. Then I will read for 15 minutes. Then for 15 minutes, I'll go to my icon corner and repeat Jesus prayer slowly. Then I go to bed. I turn off that relaxing music. I mean, I turn it off before the prayer. I don't sorry, want anything. Sorry, is this real? Is this a real story, actually? No, no, this is a real story. You're really doing this? Well, I tried. I'm getting to the point. Okay. So, and then I uh, turned off the music. I went to pray for 15 minutes, silent Jesus prayer. I have my mint tea with lemon. I go to bed at half past 10 and they fell asleep at 3 a.m. <laughs> I, gotta show you, I gotta show you something. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, you can't see it. Damn it. No, I can't see it. No, no hold on. Let me see if I can catch it somehow. I'm, I'm trying to catch something. Is it a fly again? No, 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 no. No, no. This is, this is like, we're talking about you cult and whatnot and it's like you know i have this ring light thing yeah you can see it in my glasses you see it now yeah right and it it actually reflects oh sorry i, thank I you. lost it there for a second it reflects from the glasses back into yeah. the screen into the into the black part <laughs> and it looks like literally like a like a demon like <laughs> like a demon with blue eyes because it reflects from the glass yeah 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 blue light reflection blah 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 and i'm like looking at it and it's it's like right above us <laughs> um sorry sorry for not being you but yes what, what you just described sounds awesome not the part when you where you don't sleep sounds awesome and something that could be implemented but not when you have kids no. And, uh, no, no, no. Again, no. this is no. this was custom made for me, and again, it failed tremendously. Uh, I need but to try yeah, it a couple of more times. <laughs> I think you should. I think you should. I think you should try it more. more. I mean, uh, when these are all record? good principles. When hmm? will we record? Oh, okay. Well, I will make an exception, of course, for the podcast and for the guests. Of course, for our special, very special guest. No, no, every guest is a very special guest. Yeah. You now, know, it, it would be funny if all of our guests went through the episodes and to check whether they're called a very special guest and one of them finds out that he or she wasn't called a special guest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we will just send uh, a meme, you know, 
of of that penguin crying crying icicles yeah um so okay you suck at time management okay of course yeah it is i mean i do, i do have some print uh, no no i do have some uh, some methods that i did find really useful uh, please share with the world okay uh, i have a uh, uh i have uh, i mentioned this in a previous uh, one of uh, the two previous episodes but i'll repeat it here again uh, I have three separate apps uh, for three kinds of things I, that I have to do. Mm -hmm. A habit app, things I need to do every day, which for which I use Habitica. Now, Habitica mm -hmm. is used for gamification. You know, uh, you essentially turn your everyday life into an RPG game. To be quite honest, uh, that thing lost me after the third day. It, uh, but the interface is very pretty. It looks very good. And you don't have to use that game part. I don't use it. I use it, you know just to check it out. It was interesting for a little bit and then I ditched it. Uh, I have a, a separate, uh, I use Google Calendar to mark uh, when I need to do something on specific days. And finally, I use Todoist to check one off things, you know, that don't need to be done on a specific day, but the sooner the better. Yeah, it's and, like a backlog of things that need to be done and you just yeah. dump stuff into it and yeah. And to be quite honest, uh, at least as regards to the calendar and to the uh, to the calendar and to Todoist, it was it was such a depressurer. Uh, everything okay, bad? I don't know. Give me a sec. You'll say okay. Dali, yes, well, okay. Is everything okay for our English speaking? Everything's not okay. And now he's leaving us forever. Excellent. Shut up. <laughs> I just I just heard some clash clashes in 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 the bedroom and I'm like what is going on? Um, a burglar, but we're on six a sixth floor. No, the wife, was just, the wife was just uh, rearranging kids because they fell fell asleep in our bed. Uh, wife was just looking for plastic in the sleeping room. Lol. In the bedroom. <laughs> Lol. Lol. Do continue. And my apologies. We will cut out, uh, we will cut that part off. So anyway, uh, this principle was so so useful to me because, and it, uh, it it is the reason why I managed to churn out content, even though my daily habits take a very bad hit because I prioritize those things in Todoist and uh, the calendar, but my daily habits are not so stellar. -y. However. Uh, I have also find it very useful to, um, so to speak, uh, organize my time, uh, uh, daily time, into categories of importance. And the top category is God, uh, like prayer, reading the scripture, uh, prayer on the prayer ropes, and so on. The next one is sleep, and I'm doing better in that regard. The next one is healthy eating. Again, something I do much better. I still could do much, much more better, but still better. And then we get uh, like content creation and work and sadly physical activity, which is sadly uh, right now at the bottom tier because I'm uh, cleaning the apartment. I'm turning out the content uh, there. I have a lot of uh, stuff to do for my uh, daily work. And sadly, I don't get to work out as much as I want to. And when I do have time, I'm so drained and tired and maybe occasionally a bit depressed <laughs> that I don't actually do it. So, okay, but, but these are these are set priorities in terms of categories. What 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 are the real like if you would measure what would be the real ones? Like what would be the, the, the actual? Like the only thing I think I'm, I can guarantee is still the last is, you know, physical workout or whatnot. Well, honestly, I think that my pre uh, factual priority is content creation uh, because uh, uh, it is both for God, 
for fellow men and they enjoy doing it. So uh, it is like uh, uh, the central part of that Venn diagram. However, mm. still, you know, um, as I um, uh, as I like to say, uh, the Lord ordered me to pray uh, too fast and so on. He didn't order me to make YouTube videos, to draw Bible verse. I mean, these are all good and nice things, but um, uh, that is my favorite yeah. story from Everyday Saints. And you know which one I'm going to say. Yep. Uh, there is this um, uh, great schema monk, which is the highest order of monks uh, in the Orthodox Church, uh, who has taken a vow of silence and he would go to church every day to read the Psalter. Um, so one day, uh, the, the man who wrote the book, I think, uh, I, I can't, uh, I don't remember. Arch Ar Ar Archimandrite Tichon, I think. Uh, oh, is his oh, name. oh, bravo, bravo. And, um, you know, he intercepts him and uh, he asks him, Father, can you please tell me why did you take the vow of silence? Why are you praying so much? And he decides, you know, to make an ex exceptions. And he says, Well, you see, uh, I was a monk here. I mean, I'm still a monk, but. Uh, when I came here, it was my obedience, my monastic obedience, uh, to do wood carvings. Uh, uh, and one day, um, uh, I had a dream, and I saw this large ditch, and it was full of things I have made, gospel stands, icon, uh, uh, icon frames, reliquaries, all of them simply thrown into that ditch. And I saw the most holy Theotokos, and she said, the, the only thing we asked of you is to repent, and this is what you gave us. And it, it is such a wake up call, you know, and uh, uh, I really should <laughs> make a video on, about that story because it is so powerful, uh, uh, you know, because sometimes uh, uh, and I'm totally speaking about myself, I can, I can get lost in my content and i don't mean well i can get lo i can get so no i can lose my soul in my content even though it is good people like it people find it me that's so good and dandy but you know you know uh, you know this is something i say often uh, youtubers will often get different sort of praises like you got me out of depression or orthodox youtubers oh because if you have found orthodox and that, that is all nice and good but honestly the lord would have found a way to save that person from depression or to find orthodox or christianity or at least faith in god in some other way you know we it's not like well we need this specific guy to help that person so uh, that is why I need to recheck my priorities, even if it means that my priorities. I'll help hit. you with that. Easy. Easy. Okay, please, please. Don't, do. don't forget while you're doing these things that you are learning. Mm -hmm. Don't do them as a person who has something and it, he's giving it to the world. We'll do it as a person who is learning about something and sharing it with yep. the world. Yep. That's all I'm going to say. And that's true. That's true. And they agree. I mean, um, to be quite honest, uh, there are some ranty videos on my secondary channel that I have deleted. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because, you know, when I look at back at those videos, I'm like, okay, I have definitely grown as a person and these videos simply don't hold oh, up like they're the bad. devil was the devil was waiting for, for that statement yeah yeah you know <laughs> <laughs> he, he's clicking this start button right now <laughs> yeah yeah i'm just kidding man i'm just kidding yeah. i'm messing with you how do you organize your day um let me show you i can't show show you on my tablet because it's in the bedroom and uh the kids are uh, like, you know, they're, they're asleep. So I have this, like, I told you I'm, I'm managing things um, on a weekly basis, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm, I'm actually using only two things. Uh, well, actually, I'm also using three things, but not, not in the same way you do. I think that's too much. Okay. It's just too much. Like for okay. me, and I think I talked about that before. Um, whatever I do, no matter what software I, I take, and I'm a software guy, so I'm, I'm looking for productivity okay. to like my 
default category in all app stores is productivity. And <laughs> likewise. <laughs> and like, um, I'm really searching for these things on a daily basis. I, I went like there, you, you can't, you can't name an application that I didn't try it. Mm-hmm. With one exception, Habitica, I did hear of it. I, I just didn't find it. I, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> That's okay, all. Good. That's all. And, um, and I'll, we'll speak about that later, maybe. Mm-hmm. But the point is, I would always go back to pen and paper. So I kind of took a big step. I bought this iPad Pro with a pencil. And I got, I've gotten used to using this pencil. And it's changed a lot of things for me because I'm no longer dragging uh, a bunch of, you know, uh, dip, dip, different color pencils and, 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 and different books. I don't need like one, uh, you know, big format, one small format. And that's what I would use. You know, when I need it, I need to, you know, draw something, draw a diagram or something, you know, tech guy here. I need bigger paper. It was just like all inconvenient for, uh, yeah. for me. So when I did this, I, I went through a couple of templates that I tried Mm-hmm. That, that would give me a way to map out my week. And now I'm using a pretty simple one. I'll show you like the outline of it and explain mm-hmm. what's what. This is my last week, for example. Let me, let me oh, know wow. if you see. This oh, is my wow. last week. So you, have, you have this part. Okay. Is like categorized different things. This is, this is my job. The, the, the mm-hmm. all the above. This is my, all my other projects. Mm-hmm. And this is like my private stuff. And yeah. then in the middle, you have you have basically the calendar on the top, sorry. Mm-hmm. And all, all the way, th- these are the days. And okay. I put I put different things. I highlight different things within the days. And the, the other part is basically just notes. This, notes. this looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, and, and I and do this. Uh, let me see if I, this is my current week. This is, this is, this is the end of the year. Yeah. So this is the last week. Um, but this is 2020 for me looks pretty much like that. Uh, yeah. You know, it's like, uh, this is how I manage it. The, the, the reason why I do it like that mm-hmm. is everything is in one place. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to miss anything, right? Because whatever is really important, I just write it down. If something's yeah. not important, I dump it in, the, in my like reminders application yeah. uh, in, in, my, in my phone, which I also use to dump, you know, people's recommendations for content, like videos, movies, uh, yeah, uh, podcast or whatever. I dump it there. Or when somebody owes me money. Yes, you. <laughs> no, not you, B, but you know, <laughs> somebody who watched. No, just kidding. Um, it's not about money. It's about the fact that I'm actually making people when they when they visit. It didn't happen this year much. Yeah. But when they visit, because I have so many books and I'm not reading them, I'm making everybody like borrow a book. You know that, right? Yeah. And then I just write it down, you know, to whom I, and I have this, I'll show you how it looks like. Um, my reminders app is actually also pretty, I mean, decently organized. Um, you see? Yep. Yeah. Like we have like do's. That's like when somebody owes me something, it's mostly books. Recommendations, places is like places where I want to visit. Ideas. It's like, just like random when I'm like, oh, like nice. on the road. I have like personal, which is like, don't touch that. I have the shared shopping list with, with my wife uh, and groceries and also like just a shared list with, with the wife. And, and that's what we use for like dumping stuff and like mm. stuff that is, that is, you know, like convenient, like the, the grocery store. Yeah. Like, you know, we have a couple of categories. We just, just, we can just add stuff to it. And uh, that's your list when you're going grocery shopping. Nice. Uh, except I hate doing that. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. And, and that's pretty much it. Like the, I use mostly my iPad and my, I, I use note taking. I can also see this notebook on my phone. I can see it on my computer. I can even edit it uh, mm-hmm. on both platforms. And it's, it makes things just flow smooth. And the third thing I use is the calendar because yeah. calendar, you know, you can't the di- digital calendar, actually, it can't yeah. do stuff without it because you know, the, the, the work meetings and, uh, and, um, you know, important to get like tomorrow we are going to pick up the new passport for uh, yeah. our, our uh, older older child. And mm-hmm. like you, you have to put that in the calendar, you know, the, the phone yeah. needs, to, needs to remind you. Um, but yeah, if, any, if you saw anything on, on what I've shown you, you should have seen that I just have a list of things to be done. 
Yeah. And uh, I usually complete majority of them. I usually yeah. complete majority of them. Like there, there will be things, and and I call out things that I don't, mm -hmm. and I and I use different colors. Like when I'm when I'm not doing something for weeks, I'm using yeah. more and more red. You see, this this is this is red. I'm not sure if you see it. You see red, mm, like I, I yeah yeah okay I see it. And then I'll have like weeks where. Like I'm, I'm snoozing something like I'm snoozing. I, I'm not allowing myself to just like copy and paste into next week, which yeah. I can do. I'm like, I'm calling it out yeah, uh, because it's, it's, it's bringing it to my attention in, in a different way. Well, sometimes I'm going to hack and just copy and paste, but that just means I, I took on too much for the given week. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. And, and honestly, if you're oriented towards knowing what you need to do and just doing your best to achieve it, to me, this has given the best results. And time management, I guess time just kind of fits into everything else. Um, True. And again, I think the sole reason I can do it like that is because I don't have work hours. I, I can really more or less not counting the, the, you know, the, the meetings where I need to be present because we've agreed yeah. on a specific time. I can really work whenever I want. If I want to, I can just skip Monday. Oh, the blessedness. <laughs> yeah, but hint, I never skip Monday. <laughs> okay, but you know... Um, yeah, the fact that you can just gives you this power, but you don't necessarily use it, you know, especially when you're like a co-founder uh, of a business. Okay. You don't I skip know, Mondays. You know, uh, I know that uh, we are no fans of COVID and everything. However... Uh, no. I initially thought that me working from home is like all of my dreams and prayers getting answered. It has taught me a great lesson. Working hours have their precise purpose that they fulfill amazingly. And sort of thank God for COVID because at least they cured me of uh, this trellis. <laughs> <laughs> that I would be oh so holy and productive and thin and fit if only I were the master of my time. No, <laughs> you know, the split second, uh, you think you're going to wing it. No, the devil gets the master of your time and yeah. you get better than ever and least productive than ever. Expectations versus reality, expectations. <sighs> master of time reality bastard of time <laughs> yeah yes uh, slave of time yeah yeah no, slave. No, no no not even slave of time slave implies that you're doing something <laughs> the, the lazy bag of time <laughs> the excrement of time okay i'm glad yeah I'm well look, not, why not why not i'm willing to you know bear the title because i know myself so yeah, but you know, um, it's also important, you know, not to lose yourself in time management because um, when I started doing time management, this is also cool. Um, do you see it? Like yeah, the smartphone widget. Yeah, and, yeah, for calendar. Yeah, and that I think I think people should use it, especially now that iPhone, Apple has finally copied Android, and you can actually yeah, have a widget. So yeah, I use that too. That that widget is the one widget that you should have. Uh, you know. And maybe, you know, like if you have, no, no, don't, don't do Bible widgets. They, they, they don't work. <laughs> yeah. But the uh, thing is uh, what I wanted to say uh, when I, um, when I started doing time management, I noticed I would get really annoyed when something would interrupt my time management flow. And that something is always other people. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem. <laughs> well, you know? well, 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 B you're actively uh, uh, friends with 41 person. So yeah, go on. Not even that. No, 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 no. I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, discussing friends. Uh, I'm discussing like, uh, hey, can you uh, urgently do this? Uh, bring me this, buy me this, you know, uh, that they make me an obligation that I would not enjoy doing it for myself, but now I have to do it for somebody else. And that interrupts my special plans. Like, 
like when you know, when you're supposed to translate something for somebody i think that's a pretty yeah for example pretty, yeah and then you don't do it for like yeah uh -huh. that's precisely yeah <laughs> but that's for us by the way no, no, first of all first of all did, did i did i say anything okay girl girlfriend simulator <laughs> <laughs> it's not the way it's not what you said it's the way you said fine. it no, no, everything's fine yeah. everything's okay. the ultimate indicator that nothing is fine <laughs> <laughs> no i just i it just came to my mind that when we talked about that last time you told me that was it like a colleague of yours or a, a girlfriend of yours she sent you this can you just take a look at this for me real quick and it ended up being like a four pages of very very uh hardly hard to digest uh, a legal um text or something like that yeah well uh, uh, i still uh, i'm still lucky with that because uh, my uh, uh my friend uh, my german teacher uh her family would uh, like bother her. Well, translate this. Uh, it, it's no biggie for you. And they send her like a 20 page text and like, okay. And she's like, okay, Google translate. What language should I translate to? Oh, come on. Just, just stop. <laughs> Did you hear it? Yeah, yeah. I, I heard, heard it loud and clear. It's great. <laughs> um. Okay, hey, Google, it... play Sweet Home Alabama. Oh, yeah. Well, I tried it. <laughs> You're not going to do that. Fine. No, 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 no. Um, but, but okay, okay. So you said people destroy your thing, right? Let's say you have a thing. You, you, you planned out, this is what I'm going to do today or this yeah. week. I'm pretty sure your your this week things don't work, but if you plan for today, I think it might work. Am I right? Well, no. Like uh, for example, they they would barge in on my perfect plan, and then they push things back, and uh, then I don't I'm not as productive as they wanted to be. Okay, is, you have a problem, and you know it. Yeah, of course. You have a problem in saying no. No, no. Yes, yes. No, no, no. I do yes, have a yes, problem. Yes. No, 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 no. I do have yes, a problem. Yes, I do have a problem in saying no. But the problem I was referring to is my mentality that uh, uh, I'm not saying I'm not willing to help. I am willing to help. But uh, I'm annoyed why my plans being changed annoys me so much, you know? I'm not asking, uh, I'm not uh, saying about people giving me too much to do because they're lazy or whatever. I'm not, I'm not referring to that. I'm annoying at my worship of mm -hmm. my to-do list. You know, <laughs> idols don't have to be like golden calves. <laughs> hey. Idols can be our apps, our to-do lists, our time. Damn it. Why did you push me down that road? I like pushing people down the stairs. No, this is a road. Of stairs. Stairy road. Look, okay, first of all, I'm going to have to ponder this a bit later. I have to, because you, you did something to me. Stop it. Second of all, besides the fact that you should learn how to say no, which is obvious, I, I'm really amazed as to how many people you respond to on a daily basis okay internet people okay which is like if that doesn't kill every single second of your per, you know carefully planned whatever mm -hmm. you know nothing will how do i know I everyone just so just so you know oh god b has made me an an administrator of his Facebook page in case of his early demise. <laughs> Somebody has to tell you guys that I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, literally, literally. Um, I'm, I'm, I have specific instructions. If he, you know, meets his early demise, I am to like, I don't know, something down the lines of push people to pray for me to be kind of something like that. Um, but 
<laughs> I think he already has it prepared. All I have to do is just click publish or something. Yeah, of course. Um, Premium know, miracles. It's, it starts with siblings in Christ. Uh, I've met my early demise. How do I know? Well, M published this, you know. Between you and me, I was actually considering of making a video that I would uh, schedule in, for example, five years. And oh. for every year, I would postpone it for a year until someday I die and then it goes public and everybody gets teary-eyed. <laughs> Uh, you, you're a true YouTuber, you know? Yeah. <laughs> now, um, yeah, so I'm admin. And, and unfortunately, no matter how many times I turn off notifications. Have you noticed it? No, ma no matter how many times I turn off notifications, I will keep getting questions that people ask me just via his Facebook page. I can imagine... When you count all the other channels, because you know his his omni-channel presence is, you know, it's big. Omnipresent. No, omni-channel presence. Now, yeah. I am amazed with the fact that you are actually seems to be like that, responding to people. I try because I know that all of these questions are for you out of context, especially out of your context. Your carefully planned, laid out context of you know now i'm doing this then i'm doing that and finally this is what i need to achieve like today or this month week whatever and then you get a, quite a random like question that makes you you know i, I want to answer somebody but you know i can't just answer i need to do a bit of research or something i need to figure out you know the, you know i can't like like just put so i don't know man do you start every message with a with a huge disclaimer like oh, i'll like, ask you a question but before i answer please read this online disclaimer that anything i say you know it's just my opinion it's not the, the official stance of the church fathers i'm not uh, a, a priest and all the other things that you would put in this disclaimer uh, it really depends on the question if it's something that can be googled in like five minutes i don't preface that but if i think for a second that uh, it is a matter for the priest i always always like uh, point them out to their local priest because i'm i'm not a parish priest and i know that uh, people have that issue that well yeah but i know you no <laughs> i'm just a guy on a camera that you watch on every day and you sort of things that we are best buds but i barely know who you are <laughs> i mean i hate saying it like that but I, I, I do preface such things like uh, I'm just a guy. I don't speak for the, the Orthodox Church. Uh, I'm just an Orthodox guy with an opinion. And uh, well, I'm technically member of the clergy. I'm not the member of the clergy that does anything of true importance clergy wise. You know, I don't have the grace to direct souls. I don't have the grace to absolve sins and so on and so on, yada, yada, yada. So, and that is what I tell people. So I, 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 I feel that it is my duty to do that because otherwise I'm just, you know, a guru to somebody. And that's, and I don't want to carry somebody's soul <laughs> on my shoulders because it's not that I would mind, it's just that it's not my place until I, until I become a priest. But even then, even if I were a priest, I'm not their parish priest. Again, I'm such I'm some guy in a robe online. So pretending to be a priest. <laughs> pretending to be a priest. I mean, how can you know? <laughs> Lies <laughs> illustrated. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, did did we say anything useful about time management? Uh, you know, I did. Uh, by the way, this is my sensor. <laughs> oh, oh, bring it back. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm going like... to show you mine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One moment. Okay. It smells beautiful, even if it's uh, simply like char. I'm a city kid, so this is basically the only 
the only place where I can smell burnt coal. I can't hear you, by the way. I'm not speaking to you. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> that in post production. <laughs> nope. I, I wasn't even speaking to you. Oh, nice. By the way, how well does that smoke? Um, de decently well. I did break the cross, but I glued it on, glued ah, okay. it back on. It's it can work, you know. We, we yeah, yeah, I know. From from friends, we got um. Oh, it still smells. Yeah, <laughs> that is what I was saying while you were away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is what I do. Like I I put my finger here, mm -hmm. and I put my finger there. Okay. And then and I can like shake shake it like uh, you know and and then there's there's enough smoke you're not supposed to shake it you're supposed to make the sign of the cross with it not shake 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 <laughs> so, okay 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 let's let's talk about this let's talk about this so you're gonna go through in the entire room or house and be like cross cross yeah. that that yes. that's how you do it yeah yeah your problem I do it how it's, how it's meant to be done. No, no, I'm going to shake, shake, shake. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm saying a prayer while I'm doing while, while I'm doing it. Like, I'm saying a prayer too. Is is there a canon law against the way I do it? Of course. Why do you think they assembled in Asia in the first place? And that. then, as, and then, as they were, uh, so, uh, and as they were packing their things. Uh, uh, they heard Darius say, well, yeah, I don't think that uh, the son is consubstantial with the father. And everybody's like, let's, let's go back to the room. <laughs> and then, like, this priest said that uh, the son is not consubstantial to the father. And there was one bishop uh, who was like, well, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> Sorry, B. Sorry. But when the priest takes, takes uh, the yeah. thing and, and, and he shakes it. So if he can shake it, I can shake it. Yeah, but his one, his he he his sensor is meant for shaking. So is this one. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, shake, do the shake, shake, shake. shake, shake. <laughs> <laughs> now you can never sense your house without hearing that shake, shake, shake. <laughs> no, I can't. No. You... <laughs> no. Damn it. Oh, man. <laughs> You know, you know, uh, it would be interesting if we somehow knew all of the little pious customs that people people actually do uh, yeah, in their I, homes. I can, I can only imagine, like, and and they, and they're like, they, and, and they would be like super religious about them. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, uh, that I, I, I'm actually wondering how many Orthodox people in America have actually obtained like the ecclesiastical censor, like with uh, the bells and chains, and then use it use it in home why like let's wake up the neighbors <laughs> <laughs> ching, 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 ching. ching 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 yeah but I, no 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 but it's america like a lot of uh, people live in their homes uh, rather sp spacious homes you know they don't live as much as we do in like these apartment buildings which of course there people do but uh what's wrong with my apartment building? oh nothing shake 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 <laughs> I live in a apartment building too. Do you shake, shake, shake? Do you do you go around the entire house with incense? Um, usually, I just uh, sense my room uh, because Dad does not like it. So if mm. he's asleep, I would go. But soon. Through a better part. Hmm? But soon. Uh, actually, I'm annoyed by my dad because every 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 time i light incense which is somewhat often he will be like what's it smell every time every time without exception like i mean it's not like it smells like burning rubber that you get okay there's something really wrong yeah it's a no. pleasant smell yeah it's a pleasant what, what, what's that <laughs> ptsd without a war <laughs> Um, but, but not yeah, exactly that. But soon you didn't pick it up. I'm, I, I meant hopefully you'll be soon enough. You'll be moving into a new refurbished place that yep. you are also giving a big portion of your time to. Yep. Right now, and then I will get a big ecclesiastical sense. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. <laughs> that could be a very good moving in gift. 
Wink, wink. No, 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 no. Don't, don't get. Actually, I do have a smaller chain sensor without the bells. No, I'm so getting it, man. Do you, you want me stop. to give you mine? Like you can't stop me. Do you want me to give you mine? No. Why? No, because I got this as a gift from very dear persons. And no, I, no, it's it's pretty good. No, I, I mean yours. I don't well, simply, well, you know, drop it accidentally. <laughs> no, I I tried that, but only the cross. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Um, actually, I was very like unhappy when when the cross uh, fell off. Oh, well, of course, well, I mean, it fell off because I was doing this, you know, I was you know because all the shaking. It is if it was not meant to be shaken. Yeah, it can work, you know. They didn't do good enough of a job in in gluing that cross, so I glued it back on, and it's I mean it's it's fine. No, 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 right. it's good. But like, uh, I don't expect, you know, uh, thank God that I never witnessed your sensing because I would not expect to be sensed by a mariachi band. <laughs> I really don't know what, what your problem is with the way I, I, I use incense, burn incense. No, <laughs> it's just that I would not expect people to do it. <laughs> Here next time well well when you you know move in blah 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 you call me when you when you do it and you show me how you do it okay because you know like imagine like if you have this like pious granny that you know all your life and for some reason or other you go to her place to help her with something and she's like oh let's pray and she like lights incense and then she starts uh, turning uh, turning around uh, uh, in one place and <laughs> and you're like <laughs> shake 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 uh reading from the book of canons um thou shall not burn incense the wrong way <laughs> come on man no 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 no. thou shall not burn the incense the wrong way it Include does not say what the wrong way is it does not say what the right way is <laughs> shaking or Break, <laughs> shaking and breakering. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, an episode on time management and incense. And this is how you properly burn incense. Tutorial video coming soon. No, no, no. Controversy on the proper incense management. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a Church Mouse Chronicles spin-off channel. Yeah, yeah. Sensing with mice. Gospel and ne. Sensing <laughs> with mice. <laughs> By the way, do you know that in Greece they have these special hand shaking sensors that literally look like Aladdin's lamp, except with uh, bells hanging, and then uh, the lay people go and shake them throughout the church. Yeah, that customs. Customs, you yeah. can't, you can't really like, you know. I mean, we're burning trees for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. And and recently, like fireworks is, you know, you, you don't have Christmas without fireworks. True. Uh, or shooting guns or whatnot. Thank you for the episode, then. Thank you for shit, tell, shit. telling me that that my my weekly to-do list let's call it like that is is my idol i was telling that about my to-do no, list not yours told, no you told it to me it, it's are you, it's are you going me. to be like that are you seriously going to be like that again and it still burns incense by shaking the thing <laughs> and actually that's a live call on your lap on your lap <laughs> 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 I think it's so the lighter that I have now. It's it's so much easier. Like uh, yeah, the wand. Yeah, the wand. It's so much easier. Yeah. Um, have a good uh, rest of the evening. Um, you too. Be better at time management. Uh, by saying no, oh. or more often. Yeah. Uh, by putting a uh, an automated message, uh, when people message you, which is like. Um, no. Due to B's time management needs, um, this message is 
uh, push to the bottom of the queue. <laughs> <laughs> The bottom of the barrel. <laughs> there, there are fifty persons in queue <laughs> on this platform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you're number fifty on Facebook. Number one thousand one on Omnichannel. Uh, you know. Yeah. But anyways, um, I don't think you're doing bad, honestly. Well, besides I the fact that you are like, I, I, I can, I can't ask you when is this going to be done because I know you're not going to give me. Ah, <laughs> lol. Sorry. Lol, it will never be done. <laughs> yeah, but I do have to ask you about one thing, which is like very important to me. Okay. Uh, but I'll ask you later. I don't want to call you out. Oh no! Oh no! I know what it is. Like. Of course, you know what it is because it's important. Yeah. Très uh, important. Ah, important. Important. So when? Soon. Uh, Soon ish. This year? You're the 52nd person <laughs> in queue. <laughs> it will be done by a Christmas. <laughs> I tell you, man, we need indefinite articles in Serbian. We need them so bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Okay, that's about it. Um, thank you, everybody, for um, watching another another one of the uh, episodes where B and I talk about how we are not that good at things, mm -hmm. uh, especially. Well, it doesn't matter. Sensing. Sense <laughs> shake, shake, shake. I uh, I would I suggest that your next step regarding time management is to like this video <laughs> and subscribe yeah. to this channel and what not. We've wasted an hour of everybody's time by talking about time management. Exactly. The perfect irony. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Like, like, watching, like watching Orthodox material on YouTube instead of praying. Oh, wow. That's a double joke. I try. It's potent. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Guys, talk to you in the next one. Bye.